Good evening and welcome. You're watching Dear Dawn, the segment where you are the star. Because it's your questions I answer. Your viewer mail I will read on TV. Your sometimes irritating or meaningless concerns I hold up to public scrutiny. Our viewer tonight writes in and asks, Dear Dawn, I'm straight. I never thought I'd write to Gay Cable Network. I never thought I'd even watch the show. But one day I was flipping past the boring, out of focus stuff on public access. Then I saw this gorgeous blonde. She was yakking with you about some event or other for lesbians. It was infatuation at first sight. My shrink says that due to my lack of self-confidence, I'm always attracted to women I can't have, like Connie Chung or Risa Gorbachev. But this time, it's different. I know I'm the right man for Norma. We have a lot in common. I'm depressed because I'm lonely, and she must be depressed because she's a dyke. So I wrote her at your station. No answer. I sent pictures of myself with my shirt off that would make you drool, Don because I work out all the time to bolster my self-esteem, but still no reply. Oh, Don, I just know that if Norma Jean met a smart, built guy like me, she'd give up her silly lesbian's ideas in a second. As long as she doesn't mind that mole on my weenie, but my shrink says I make too much of that. Oh, Don, can you get her attention for me? Sincerely, straight man. P.S. I would have called myself Superman, but I'm having too much trouble scraping up enough self-worth without Norma Jean to love me. Well, straight man, I'm glad you wrote to me. It does my heart good to know that there are intelligent, attractive straight men who are just as screwed up as the gay men I know. Well, I am not going to get involved in this no way, no how. I'll let Norma Jean fight her own battles. But let's get the opinion straight from the lesbian's lips. Norma Jean, what are your feelings for straight man? Well, Don, I've put up with this kind of pestering before. When straight man sent his first letter, I was merely annoyed. But then he started sending six, seven, up to eight letters a day. There wasn't even room in the GCN mailbox for Mike Lehman's fan mail. <laughs> Mike, Le Mike Lehman gets that much fan mail? Yes, but he writes it himself. Anyway, oh. when straight man started sending me pictures of his muscle-bound body, Ooh. oh, I was so disturbed. Oh, so he is built, huh? Were, were any of the pictures, you know, like maybe nudes? Well, no, come to think of it, how odd. He never exposed himself. Uh -huh. But Don, we've known one another for years, and you know how I feel about straight men who try to get familiar. Although I do adore muscles. <laughs> uh, I think I told you about it. Remember back in 1984 when we first met? When we first met? Yes, you ran into me while you were jogging, remember? Oh, that, that's right. Oh, it seemed like so long ago, and yet, yet I, I'm almost reliving it all in my head right now as we speak at this very moment. TV name to keep misguided straight men from pestering me. What's your real name? Gwenda Spear Goodbody, but you can call me Gwen. Listen, I really need to wash my hands, so listen, why don't you come with me while I go upstairs and I can keep an eye on you and make sure you're all right. Well, I know you'll never be all right, but you know what I mean. Where, where are we going? Well, it's not a major event or anything. We're going to Norma Jean's house for the delicious evening meal that's served every day from 5 to 7 p.m. Reservations required. Wow, how'd you make those floating words appear? It's an old trick I learned at GCN. Come on. Excuse me a moment. Wow, Norma Jean, neat apartment. What's for dinner? That jacket is going in the garbage. Uh, what is for dinner, Norma Jean? Oh, Don, I don't cook. Don't you know the definition of a femme? A woman who knows how to do everything but doesn't want to. Oh. Besides, too much time in a hot kitchen causes premature wrinkles. I'll see if my girlfriend left anything in the fridge. Gee, it's so neat to meet a TV star. I just know what you're like, you know, you're, you're really like. Who are you going to vote for in the, in the presidential election? Reagan or Mondale? 
I'm voting for Reagan. I mean, I know he's old and conservative and stuff, but he seems to do a good job of keeping his staff under control, and, and he'd never do anything dumb, like like sell arms to the sell arms to the the Russians or anything. I think I'll call my friend Kevin from the calendar. He's gay too, and maybe you'd like to meet him. Ooh, flippy wow. Hello. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Gwendol Spear. What's up? I was just wondering if you wanted to come over and meet this cute guy that I just met outside. Well, he's got a little dog dirt on his jacket, but I'll clean him up. Sounds yummy, Gwendol Spear, but I've made plans to attend the 1984 drag demonstration and dinner. Get super drag tips from the city's most famous drag darlings. Learn how to make 12 kinds of falsies out of water balloons and electrical tape. Then see how to avoid the fear of buying makeup in stores by mixing your own at home out of ordinary tomato paste or charcoal briquettes. Bye. Oh, here, Don. Let me take your jacket. It's dirty from your fall. Oh, that's okay, Norma Jean. I mean, you don't have to wash it or anything. It's just grass stains. Gee, Norma Jean, it sure is sweet of you to wash that for me. No problem. Well, my girlfriend left a pizza, but oh, that's so fattening, and I am trying to watch my weight. How about light beer and bubble gum for dinner? Wow, well, Norma Jean, neat kitchen. Ooh, gum, yum. What's your girlfriend like? I'm sorry, Don, but my personal life is private. Oh, okay. And I don't discuss that with anyone. Mm -hmm. But let me just say this. My life is practically perfect in every way, except... Norma Jean, what's wrong? It's those horrible, misguided straight men. They see me on the show and start pestering me. They leave dirty messages on the GCN answering machine, and now they've started sending in pornographic mail. It's quite annoying. Oh! It must be hard being such a lovely lesbian. Such a, a dazzling dyke. Such a... With most men, I have few problems. I really don't have anything against men. It's just that horrible minority with rejection complex who go after women like me. They're so mixed up. Oh, how terrible. How can I help, Norma Jean? You know, despite the occasional fun I might one day poke at women on a segment I could possibly someday do on Gay Cable Network, like around 1988, I do care so about the well-being of women. How can I help you? Your listening is catharsis enough. Donna, I used to date men, but there was always something missing from the relationship. Huh. I always wanted more than they had to offer. It, it just wasn't enough, and they never understood. Their big, powerful hands were always mussing up my hair and smearing my lipstick and ruining my nylons. Oh, don't cry. Your mascara will run. Yes, you're quite right, Don. And, I mean, I don't want to look like Tammy Faye Baker. Who? But, Don, promise me that if someday I need help dealing with these misguided straight men, you'll help me out. They need help. And, Don, you're a bright boy. Maybe they'll listen to you. Don? Don. Don? 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 What happened? You just blanked out. Oh, my, my mind was, must have wandered, you know? You know? You know, Norma Jean, I said that I wasn't going to get involved in your problem. But, well, Gwendol, uh, Norma Jean, you've been so kind to me over the years that I think it would be a shame if I didn't use my education to help you straighten out this straight man. You know, I do have a degree in psychiatry, although technically I'm not allowed to treat mammals, but I think straight man, in your case, it's easy to see that your attraction to lesbians, your attempts to build up your body, your lack of self-esteem, it's all caused by your self-consciousness about that thing on your weenie. Now, you've just managed to condense all of your insecurities onto this thing. Well, they're right there, so why don't you snip it off and get rid of them? You could be just a pair of pinking shears away from mental health and a positive self-image. Well, until next time, folks, keep those cards and letters coming, and stay tuned for the rest of tonight's show.